all right thank you guys so much thank you so much for coming back thank you so much for tuning in you are here with another video from miss sherry l and we are going to be achieving a paradise inspired makeup look i saw this look on a friend of mine and i said i could do that i could do that and i just basically studied her studied the colors that she had on her face and i said i have those colors so why the heck not let's 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 knock this out so per usual make sure your face is clean make sure your canvas is clean you are moisturized you are hydrated you are glowing already before we even apply anything so as you saw before i applied my becca primer and you want to make sure you smooth that in really well no cakey spots no white spots nothing make sure it's all over your face i am using my anastasia beverly hills dip file pomade you guys that is very very hard to say consistently with no mess up i just want to let y'all know that um and in this shade of ebony i'm using a dense angle brush to shade in my brows as i stated before in my other videos you know god didn't necessarily bless me with the brows that i would like so you know we have people to make products to get them how we want um and don't worry like i've always said don't worry if your brows are not identical twins it is totally okay just make sure you get them as similar as possible i am using my mac concealer in shade nw45 to clean them up i don't want them to pop too much off of my face so i am using my concealer that is comparable to my natural tone and because I am doing using this shade of concealer, I can use it above and below my eyebrow. If you are using a shade that is a shade or two higher than your natural skin tone, do not apply it above your brows. We do not want halo brow. We do not want that, you know, glow of brow that happens sometimes if you use the wrong shade of concealer. And as you saw, I use my smoothie to soften up the innermost corner of my brows and we are going to be applying concealer to my eyelids because of the fact my eyelids are dark and um, a lot of times people think I already have on eyeshadow when I don't have it on for whatever look I'm going for that day, especially for my natural beat. Um, so I'm using that same NW45 on my eyelids just to kind of give it a clear canvas. That is my Juvia's Palace. That is my Juvia's Place. Um, sorry, my Juvia's Place palette. And I am taking that shade and applying it all over my uppermost part of my eyelids. And this is what you're going to be using as your transition color. So the transition color is what... Um, makes the color scheme whatever you're doing from your actual eyelid to your eyebrows flow this is the juvia's place masquerade palette and you're going to take that shade that i just showed you and apply that on your crease and that's just to give it a pop of pink because we're doing paradise inspired eye makeup Remember, swipe right, no swiping. You're going to pat and you're going to press. And we're going to be applying that shade in the middle, right where the rest of that concealer is. So you can see right there, right in the middle of the eyelid, um, because we want that to give a glow, similar to sun, a golden sun, a nice golden day i live in florida so you know that's pretty much every day and we're going to go back to the zulu palette and the zulu palette does not have names so you're going to be using that rose gold color on top of the gold that i applied from the masquerade palette and that's going to give it a little rosy pink look But I don't know why Zulu doesn't have names. It was very weird. But it doesn't have names, so you just make sure you're paying attention to what I'm pointing to. And we're going to use that purple shade on the outer most corner of your eye. Um, and that's to give it some depth. 
And so basically, these are all the shades that you would typically see in a sunset. Um, it was just, they were, it's just, they're just beautiful. Just a beautiful set of colors. And you're going to be applying that to your innermost and your outermost part of your eyelids. And just bring it into the middle. So it's almost kind of like a halo eyelid look because you're applying the dark color around that gold. That's how you apply the halo. That's how you achieve the halo look as well. And we're going to go back to the masquerade palette and use that purple shimmer shade and apply that on top of the purple that we use from the Zulu palette. Here is my Il Maquillage liquid foundation in shade 190. Look up like this. I love this liquid foundation. I, I don't I don't think I can stress it enough. Um, if you have not tried it, I would say definitely give it a go. And as you can see, I have hyperpigmentation um, and I have acne scars. And I have acne scars when I don't even pick my face, go figure. But I have them and as you can see, the foundation covered them right on up. And so right now I look a bit bright compared to my neck, but it will oxidize and it will darken up to match how I need it to. And also bear in mind when you're using a ring light, it shows everything. So make sure you're using the light to apply your foundation and make sure you're using it to spot check this is my morphe concealer and because i don't need it to pop off my face my t-zone area i am going for a natural tone um i didn't want my t-zone to be too bright so i am using my natural tone morphe concealer and for your sponge, always make sure you damp your sponge before you use it. Um, it allows the product to spread without picking up product at the same time. Because the idea is you don't want to waste it. You don't want to waste the product that you're using. So when you place it, you want it to stay where you put it. This is my crayon case, crayon, uh, crayon case chalk dust in shade A. And we're going to be applying that. To the t-zone right over the concealer because of course we use the setting powder because we don't want our concealer to crease our back that's not fun that doesn't look cute so we're going to be applying that in the area that we just applied the concealer and we're going to be making sure that it's covered but it's not white you don't want to apply too much setting powder in your t-zone area because then when you do take a picture with flash you're going to look very ghostly and we don't want that And remember how I said earlier, if you need to fix your brows, if you have a mess up, go ahead and fix them, your brows. It's okay. No problem. I have to go back and fix mine after applying the concealer. My lashes. Oh, my lashes. My wonderful lashes. Um, but before I put on my lashes, I'm actually going to be using my urban decay perversion mascara i have longer natural lashes as you can see right there so that brush is a bigger brush if you have smaller or super curly eyelashes i would recommend that you use a brush that is slim and but dense with bristles so that when you pull it can kind of elongate those curly lashes that you have so if i didn't want to put on lashes I didn't have to because after two coats of that mascara you can see that I have lashes but I'm gonna put them on for effect so that you can really see them and here is my Mac Studio fix in NW45 and I'm applying that on top of my setting powder and my other products and prior to applying your face powder always make sure that you dust off your setting powder that you applied on top of the concealer um you want to dust off any excess and you want to make sure that when you're applying your pressing powder 
your face powder that you're applying it everywhere and you're patting it into the skin. No, woo! no swiping, no swiping at all. And this is my crayon case and Lola highlighter. You guys saw my face, you guys saw my reaction. This highlighter is the bomb. Period, fool. Period. This highlighter is the bomb. Sun kissed goddess. Come on, sis. Let's ride. Oh my gosh. And a little bit goes a long way. And there we are. We are done. Simple. Well, at least I guess to me it's simple. But we are done. Thank you so much for coming back and having fun with me. But wait, there's more. You could have left this face with a new look. You could have just put on some lip gloss and made your lips pop. But I decided I wanted to put on a lip, a colored lip, which I have not done in a while. So this is my MAC Heroin lipstick. And it is a matte lipstick. Um, I am also going to be using the MAC Night Moth Lip Liner. Typically, I put on my lip liner prior to putting on my lipstick, but I wanted to show you guys what the look looked like without the liner and just the lipstick. And so I'm doing the ombre just to give some drama to my lips and some depth and dimension. And you apply and you rub, apply and rub, apply and rub. rub it out make sure you don't have any harsh lines of that lip liner and that's it 